Uh, hi everyone, in this video I'm going to create some tutorial about how to export uh, data to XLX uh, format or ex extension uh, and in this case I'm using a Supabase database as a resource but anyway you can using uh, any resource data like a Firebase or, any, or even uh, the JSON format but in this video, uh, specifically, I want to create some example how to export uh, data using a few, few table from the Supabase and I want to export to Excel format, XLX uh, extension. So uh, this is the project, the same project with my previous video talking about uh, how to implement a view table in, from the Supabase into Flutterflow project. Of course, I have successfully integrating my Supabase database into this project. Also, you can see this is the view that we just created uh, from the last tutorial. So, and after that, I also in previous uh, video I have uh, retrieved the data into pages into page like this uh, the difference is in this time I adding some export data so before I add some action here I already created some custom action called export Excel the name is up to you can uh, rename with your your, your your name this is uh, doesn't matter as long as you click this boiler plat button and after that uh, uh, this is uh, this action custom action have no return value just turn off the return value and for the parameter this is the parameter that I give type uh, from super best row and just uh, our view that we created uh, in a previous video view transaction and don't forget to click is list and this is the important things uh, you just need to copy paste and add dependencies to here and don't forget to reload click the reload button after that uh, uh, click uh, the boiler plot the green the green icon button and will be uh, show this model and just click for copy editor so uh, you will uh, get the boiler plat code and after that just uh, copy paste the rest of this code um, yeah and import the package here I want to uh, add some table with the with the uh, fields that we just uh, created in the list view uh, product name and username also the quantity and total like this just parsing uh, from the view here and I'm do some looping Yeah, just like that if you have uh, if you're pressing some easy with the uh, package uh, URL doesn't uh, doesn't fall or or something like that just reload the browser and uh, re-import the pro the package and build the custom action okay so in the button I add some action to call the custom action we just uh, created export and for the parameter I'm um, per, um, add some backend query here in the button so by best query uh, table view table from view transaction and create type list and yeah after that we just need to choose that backend query as the parameter this one 
after that uh, when I run the the project so when I click for the export button this is will be downloaded in uh, some Excel uh, file and because the data like uh, just two row so this is the data that we got exactly same with the data from this view because we have a uh, setting uh, we have setting uh, the filters yet so the data will be not filtering because we just have a uh, only two rows of data so everyone uh, that's it that's it from me for this video for this tutorial thank you very much for watching this video bye bye